Hey everyone, Jesse here. I uh, wanted to do an update kind of what what everything is going on and I uh, wanted to do the review of this um, 550 gallon per hour pump or I guess it's 530 gallons per hour. Um, but as you can see I'm starting to put together this is kind of like a low cost um, aquaponics slash plant propagation system. These are HDX um, totes from Home Depot. I think they're like nine bucks for 27 gallons. So I'm hoping to put together maybe two or three um, so that we have you know around 80 gallons total, 75 gallons um, for the base. And then on top of these, we'd have smaller, um, smaller trays or smaller totes to do the plant propagation. We put the media in there, we stick cuttings in there, and then that's where the propagation happens. Um, currently moved down to Houston. Uh, just got here last week or so, so like this water is rainwater, um, and it's probably 80 degrees in there. So it's going to be hot. We'll see if this can hold up. I mean, they're good quality totes from Home Depot, um, so we'll see how that works. But in any event, uh, this submersible pump, Active Aqua, is highly recommended. Um, this is 530 gallons per hour. This should be plenty for you know a 100 gallon tank system, and I think it's around $30. So you get all these random assortments in there, all these connections. The only thing I want is this half inch male to three quarter inch female PVC connector and that just screws right in there. That way I can set up the PVC pipe and I'll show you that next. All right, so I got the uh, pump set up. It has three quarter inch PVC pipe. It's going up to this T, obviously in the future state, whatever the above here, you know, that's the, the height that this needs to go. So it's um, connected there with a T, and then I have this brass valve at the very, very top, which is connected with a three-quarter inch slip to, I think it's a three-quarter inch um, male on there. So actually, I'm just going to lean this against that for a second, because I'm sure it's going to freak out. But you can kind of get an idea of how powerful this pump will be. I score it out. So obviously the higher up you go is the less water the pump is going to push out. So if this was up at 10 feet, see if I can fill up that guy. So it's quite a lot of water. So I'm hoping to have several totes connected somehow, and then this will be used to put water into all three, which will drain right back down into the base. Now the best thing for your aquaponic system um, is going to be rainwater or some kind of really filtered water in the future state. So these are positioned to catch rain from up there, from the roof. It just rained uh, yesterday. So overall, it's not the cleanest because it's a asphalt roof. You can kind of see some of the material down there, but it's rainwater. That's gonna be the best. The water from the hose is hard water. So it's just gonna be a little harder for like fish or something to get in there. Hoping to catch some local fish, some minnows, something with life in there to shove those in here. That'll prevent any mosquitoes from going in there. Um, so, yeah, I think the pump is good quality. I mean, I've usually ran 1,000 gallon per hour pumps, which is just plenty. Um, this seems like it would be perfect for this setup. 
Uh, overall, I'm trying to hope. I'm hoping to keep everything below, you know, a hundred dollars for the entire setup. We'll probably get close to that, um, but that'll allow you to start propagating plants. It's super easy. You just need a couple parts, and then I can show you the rest of that build um, in another video. So with that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll put out some more videos later on.